மனோதர்ம சங்கீதம் வெல்கம் டு த லெக்சர் சீரீஸ் ஆன் கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் the main objectives of this session are as follows 1 introduction to niraval 2 basics of niraval singing 3 sahitya anubhavam 4 choice of lyrics for niraval and 5 mode of singing niraval introduction to niraval Another important aspect of Mano Dharma Sangeetam is Niraval. It literally means filling up, that is, filling up portions of the Pallavi theme with fresh and appropriate music. The Pallavi is presented in new melodic garbs, the rhythmical setting being kept intact. Niravals gradually tend to to become variations on the whole theme the singer reverts to the original theme at the conclusion of each niraval in niraval care should be taken to see that the syllables of sahitya fall at the identical places in the avarta as in the fundamental theme basics of niraval singing Niraval singing is very exacting and demanding. It calls for a deep understanding of Sahitya and the quintessence of the Ragha. The word Niraval seems to be a coinage in Tamil. In Telugu, the equivalent word is Nimputa, which literally means to fill up. Sarangadeva, in his work on music, Sangeetha Ratnakara refers to Rupaka Alapti, which means Ragha delineation through verses. This perhaps is the closest definition of Niraval. In Tamil music, there is reference to Niraval as Patalati. The term Sahitya Prastaram is the best description of what Niraval singing is all about. While developing Niraval, we need to keep the Ragha Bhava and Sahitya Bhava in focus. Before embarking on a study of Niraval, one needs to understand the underlying difference between Niraval and Sangati. The Sangatis in a Kriti are based on Swara patterns. When you analyze the stack of Sangatis in a Kriti, you will notice how the phrases are swara pattern based this testifies to the fact that krithis lend themselves to notations for example if you look at the first few sangatis of vatapi ganapatim they go as the emerging progression from one sangati to the next is a swara pattern that is developed to fit the verses appropriately in sharp contrast the niraval is raga based while developing a niraval a musician conceptualizes in terms of raga phrases rather than swara patterns the words are fitted into raga phrases that would bring out the mood of the sahitya appropriately sahitya anubhavam the term sahitya prastaram obviously highlights that the sahitya is the crux of niraval singing to inculcate the sensitivity of sahitya in niraval singing it becomes imperative that a musician becomes sensitive to the sahitya even while rendering krithis this will give a natural flair to niraval singing apart from providing a clear diction to the presentation clarity of lyrics in vocal presentation transports music into a sublime state where the musician and the members of the audience can relive the moments of ecstasy the composers must have experienced when lyrics are fit into musical form 
especially development of Sangatis, it is very likely to undergo distortion popularly known as Sahitya Chedam or Pada Chedam. While many have argued that such distortions are inevitable, it is not believed so. A relentless sensitivity to lyrics can give a musician ways and means of imbibing Sahitya Anubhavam. There are a few points that can, to a large extent, help us avoid Pada Chedam. The correct duration or matra for each syllable. Example, the word Nirmala should not be elongated to Nirmala. The word Sakala Kalavani must not be shrunk to Sakala Kalavani. In both cases, we get into anartha. Syllables must not be stuck together with non-existing connectors. Often noticed violations are bhajanaseya sounding like bhajanaseya. While pronouncing a word or a phrase, every syllable must be distinct. Several syllables should be strung together to make the word or phrase. It is like a garland of flowers, each flower having its own identity still forming the garland. Incomplete phrases. In many instances, the meaning of the lyrics may not complete within one rhythmic cycle. In such cases, the Sangatis must not be built around one cycle. A standing example for this is the Anupallavi in Tyagaraja's Emi Chesite Nemi in Todi Raga and Mishra Chaputala. Kama Moha Dasulai Shri Ramuni. This phrase means Rama is a slave to desire and lust. That is far away from what Tyagaraja says. Kama Moha Dasulai Sri Ramuni Katu Teliyaleni Varilalo Emi Chesite Nemi Sri Rama Swami Karunaleni Varilalo According to him, the above phrases mean of what avail is anything done by people who are slaves to desire and lust and do not understand the commandments of Rama? Words splitting over two rhythmic cycles. An outstanding example of this is a Marugelara in Jayanta Shri Raga in a composition of Tyagaraja. Marugela Charachara Rupa Paratpara Surya Sudhakara Lochana. The above line means the universe itself is your form with the sun and the moon as your eyes. The words Paratpara splits over two rhythmic cycles, necessitating singing the whole Anupallavi in two cycles. While avoiding these traps is difficult, an effort to do so is the mark of a conscious musician. Choice of lyrics for Niraval It has been a myth that Niraval must be sung in the second part of Anupallavi or the first part of Charanam or the last part of Charanam. While this may work in many cases, it is not a rule. The first step for an effective Niraval singing is the selection of lyrics. The phrase being developed must have a complete meaning and must highlight lofty ideas. For example, Niraval for Mamata Bandana Yuta Narastuti Sukhama means it is blissful to ingratiate people with arrogance and self-conceit. 
Instead of elaborating the above phrase, the following line Sumati Tyagarajuni Kirtana Sukhama will be more apt to be elaborated and connected with the undercurrent of the song Nidhi Chala Sukhama in Kalyani Raga and Mishra Chaputala. 2. In yet another composition of Tyagaraja, Nyanamo Sagarada in Purvi Kalyani Raga and Rupakatala, the opening lines of the Charanam, Paramatmudu Jeevatmudu Padunaluku Lokamulu. Although is a complete phrase, its meaning relates to the Pallavi line of the song. Together, the meaning goes like this. Can't you give me the knowledge that Paramatma, Jivatma, the 14 worlds are all the same? Rather, it may be more appropriate to sing Niraval in Paripurna Nishkalanka Niravadi Sukha Dayaka meaning supreme and perfect. O impeccable, the one who gives eternal bliss. Songs like Meenakshi Me Mudam Dehi in Purvi Kalyani Raga and Aditala, composed by Muttuswami Dikshitar, offers various phrases for Niraval singing, namely Meena Lochani, Pasha Mochani, Manini, Kadamba Vanavasini, Madhura Puri Nilaye, Mani Valaye Madhumada Modita Hridaye Sadaye Mahadeva Sundaresha Priye Mode of singing Niraval 1. Niraval 1. Niraval must be subtle, leisure and suggestive. The pace of Niraval in general must be leisurely or in Vishranti. Vishranti is the sense of composure that is exhibited by the musician which eventually pervades the concert hall. In this state, the mood of the Raga and Sahitya can be brought out very effectively. Hovering around a certain note and building melodic patterns Culminating in Upper Shadja is an effective way of expressing the emotion of the lyrics. Suggestive and subtle phrases definitely add extra charm to the presentation. Combination of words is another important factor in Niraval singing. Sometimes the theme of the Niraval can be introduced by developing the lyrics by tagging on words. For example, in the Kriti, Shukha Saunakadi Sadharaditam Shuddha Tamaraparni Tatastitam by Muttuswami Dikshitar in Hemavati Raga and Aditala, Niraval can be introduced as Araditam Sadha Araditam Shukha Saunakadi Sadharaditam. When lyrics are paraphrased and presented this way, it highlights the lyrics and the reason why the composer chose those words to express his thoughts. While singing Niraval in Madhyama or medium or Durita or fast tempos, Care must be taken with lyrics and aesthetics. Chauka or slow and madhyama or medium paces are very suitable for niraval. In songs where we start off niraval in the slow pace, it is generally recommended to move to medium pace to give variety before starting off kalpana swaras. Medium pace niraval must have gamakas built in to give the wholesome effect. In songs where the niraval lines are in fast speed with packed words, 
For an example, the Madhyamakala lyrics in Muthuswami Dikshita's compositions. Developing Niraval needs years of practice and perfection before presenting in a concert. Although Niraval is invariably followed by Swara singing in a concert, it is not mandate. In the course of a concert, if the musician feels that Niraval would shine better by itself, it is perfectly all right to sing Niraval and proceed with the song. While singing Niraval for Ragam Tanam Pallavi, the Anuloma and Pratiloma aspects can be brought in. The placing of words within the rhythmic cycle must be adhered to as much as possible. Although a little offbeat is allowed, it must not be so contrived as to cluster words in a few aksharas. Odikkal will certainly add punch to Niraval singing. Odikkal is basically taking lyrics offbeat like quarter or three-fourths of an akshara. The duration of Niraval for a song is basically dictated by the sense of proportion. A song of the magnitude and grandeur of Balagopala in Bhairavi can justify a lot longer Niraval than Chintayama in the same Raga. Rakti Ragas give a lot of scope for developing Niraval. To expound Niraval in ragas where the contours are limited, a short and sweet presentation will highlight the Niraval without making it sound repetitive. <laughs> Yeah. 
session with a brief introduction about Niraval singing. We discussed this factor of Manodharma Sangeetam based on various aspects such as the basics of Niraval singing, choice of lyrics and the mode of singing Niraval. With this we come to the end of this session. Let us discuss about the other factors of Manodharma Sangeetam in the next session. Thank you.